Hello there, welcome to an INFJ Ramble. Um, today's video is going to touch on a quote I wrote a while ago that I just came across again. I wrote um, really simple and it's really common sense, but people who are busy are too busy for life and people who aren't busy have all the time in the world to enjoy. <laughs> um, it's funny, I'm sure as, an I, as INFJs you have an inclination to write poetry or um, whatever, you just like to write. I know I went through a phase of writing. I still write, but it's more like little ditties versus like 25 page long life story journal and it's funny when you reference these things um, in the future like now Ooh, look at all the pigeons flying by I don't know if you can see that um, yeah when you I got distracted by pigeons by the way if you're interested in um, animal symbology even insect symbology, it's really fascinating. Um, I've come across pigeons a lot and they represent love. So I guess that's where I'm at. But anyhow, going back to that, that quote. Um, yeah, people who are busy are too busy for life and people who aren't busy have all the time in the world. And let me tell you, that is true. I went from being a workaholic to going to the opposite extreme and enjoying my life more. And I, I spend a lot of time doing nothing. And when I do nothing, I can enjoy everything. You know what I mean? When you set time constrictions or you have set plans or a set like layout, which is weird because I think INFJs are inclined to be like, like that. Like, like, you know, like, um, list makers and we need to like really detail oriented perfectionist um i used to be like that but then i exhausted myself and i realized the unnecessity of that and i just kind of threw it all away and now i just kind of like have no plans and then i just enjoy every moment and let the day take me where it needs to take me um i was having a conversation with someone um, she's younger and I think I've adopted the younger um, anyways I was having a conversation with a younger person probably in her early 20s maybe even younger and you know I, I enjoy raw conversations profoundly like drop the freaking persona drop the masks and just be freaking real you know I, I enjoy rawness so much but this girl she was super raw super real and she was telling me that she thinks that a lot of the older generation thinks that the kids are lazy and I've I've already like contemplated this subject so I kind of knew what she was talking about like no I didn't kind I knew what she was talking about like they seem unmotivated they seem like they're not really interested in like you know making money they're more interested in traveling and having fun, living life. And I think it's, it's, it's necessary. I mean, we've been kind of stuck in a slave labor mentality for a really long time from our, you know, great, great grandparents or great grandparents or grandparents and even maybe even our parents stuck in slave labor mentality, you know, working for someone else in order to make them money while you just kind of waste you're basically leeching off of your life energy so that you can make the money yeah that's what it is it's slave labor mentality and these younger kids can see right through it right away and they're just like I'm not gonna participate in that you know I'm gonna participate in something that makes me happy something that you know like helps me to live my life so that I can be happy and you know enjoy it not just like labor for someone else's profits you know what I mean so you know with anything it's cyclical so I think like you know with each generation that that is incarnating onto the planet 
like the newer ones are just kind of here to break down old systems so that we can you know rebuild newer systems that will enhance the um, livelihood of everything and everyone around us so yeah you might think like the kids are lazy and they're more technologically inclined but and they, they, they want instant gratification, you know? And there's pros and cons to everything, but on the side, um, the, I guess the, the beneficial side, I'm sorry, I can't talk. I'm just kind of like freaking whatevs today. I've been like that for the past few days. I just, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't really worry so much or care about whatever and just let everything be. Anyhow, um. Yeah, she she said like um, money is not the priority and that that is in alignment with my value system. You know, money is a tool to be used in order to, you know, experience life, but it shouldn't like overrule everything else that you're living for. Does that make sense? Like use money as a tool to buy experiences, you know, and not but don't let it consume you and don't let it like make you its hostage you know what I mean I mean if you want to that's cool but that's not how I'm seeing it and these younger rich folks I don't think they're seeing that either they're just like I want to just work to make enough money so that I can go and live my life and enjoy it and do what makes me happy you know what I mean because we've been stuck in like a lack mentality for so many lifetimes you know like from our ancestors and it's like time to like break through that and make a change and these youngie people are gonna do it and it's weird I'm 40 but I can totally relate to where they're coming from so I feel like maybe my soul I don't know what I'm trying to say because like it's almost like I always always felt out of place because I was always like a a few steps ahead of everyone else um, but then this younger generation that's coming out they're they're like like up to par where I'm at you know what I mean so it's maybe I came in first as a guinea pig and then now everyone else is rolling through the youngie generation and we're all on the same wavelength like I totally get it like I do not want to participate in the whole corporate um, mental construct you know what I mean I don't even really want to buy a house and I only have a car I've only invested in buying a car so I can get from point A to point B right um, and then everything else whatever anyways hey I'm gonna stop talking I've been talking for a while I don't even know if my video made sense and that's okay anyhow Hope you're having a beautiful day. Blessings to one and all. Amen.